Grace of St. Stephen's Episcopal Church today. Uh, I'm Simon Jacobs, organist and choirmaster. And you'll see behind me is a new part of our organ. The antiphonal organ, which was completed by Schoenstein and Sons of San Francisco last week. And I'm here with a very, very special person. The uh, person, indeed, who is responsible for the gift of this organ, Miss Connie Eggers. Hi, Connie. And uh, just tell me a bit, Connie, about the genesis of the antiphonal and what made you decide to give this extremely generous gift. Well, looking back, I cannot remember a part of my life when there was not music. And I grew up in a church that had professional music. And I think my love of that music, and particularly the organ, began then. And I also knew from a, a previous organist, every organist in this church has always wanted an antiphonal. <laughs> we always want to. Because yes. the church was designed so there could be an antiphonal there. And then, well, Frank and Dee, you can't hear the organ in the back of the church. And there's a dead spot. And then, just, I wanted something tangible and something permanent as a memorial for my husband, who loved the organ as much as I did. I don't think we missed an organ recital. No, but that's wonderful. I mean, and it, it looks like it's always been there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I mean, it, they've done amazing uh, workmanship. We've had the church furniture company from New Holland, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, we've done the wood, which is white oak, blended in with the church wood. And uh, it was shown in San Francisco. The, I always think of the Rolls Royce of organ builders in many ways. I mean, they are, I think, the they're, finest. They're tops. They're, the tops. they're absolutely tops. And I had no question when Jack Dethards was here, his first visit, how thorough he was. He, he spent a long time at the well team making copious notes, he picked the pipe that he would use as his model. And he studied the space. There was just no question. And Jack, Jack Bethard is the tonal director of Schoenstein. Yes. So he's responsible for how the organ sounds. And of course, what they often say, the most important stop on the organ is the building. So yes. if you take an organ, this organ, and put it somewhere else, it would sound completely different. Well, the building is part of the instrument. The building really is, exactly. The building is part of the instrument. And uh, you'll get to hear it uh, next Thursday. Uh, I'll be giving a recital at 12 noon. Um, and you'll hear lots of the antiphonal. And you may hear a little bit more uh, in this video today. But Connie, you've been uh, involved in music all your life, I think. Pretty much, Most yes. of your life. Yes. Um, could you tell me a bit about your love of music and the history of that? Well, my family, I heard music. Um, I studied piano. Try well, I had an experience with the cello. Uh huh. So it did won. I. Bad one. <laughs> it won. Yes. I lost. And then I started choral singing after I was out of school and married and discovered I could do this. So I ended up with. 32 seasons with the Washington Cathedral Choral Society, uh, which was marvelous. And then we were moved up here. Yes. And I sang in the church, I sang in church choirs. And, yeah. and here in the table. And here, here and many yes. Years. And it's just a lifelong uh, connection, I think. Now, I think I know how many great choral masterworks you've sung because you generously gave me some of your old music, <laughs> which says Eggers on it. So, you know, things like the Beethoven, Mrs. Solemnis, and <laughs> Bernstein, Chittis de Salle, so I can get an idea of the richness of uh, choral music you've been involved in in the past. Most of the major choral works. Oh, yes. A master works that over 32 years. Mm. Um, I was disappointed not to hear, <coughs> excuse me, to hear the Britain War were playing up again. Yes, and that was um, going to happen this year, but due to current circumstances, it's been yeah, postponed with the chorale. But I'm sure it will happen. So, Connie, last question. How do you feel 
Now the intentional is here. What does it feel like? <laughs> what can I say? Over the moon. Yes. It's so beyond what I even imagined it would be. Both visually and morally. Yes. It, it's just, uh, I still am not sure. Is it real? Is it real? Is it, is it, is it really, really there? Well, I think so. It sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's marvelous, marvelous. So, thank you, Connie, for speaking to me, and thank you once again for your extraordinarily generous gift. Um, it's beautified the church, it's warmed my heart, and it will provide all your music for many years to come. So, thank you so much. You're more than welcome. I'm thrilled to have been able to do it. Really. It's a dream come true. Hi, I'm Simon Jacobs, organist and choir master here at Grace and St. Stephen's. And what you see behind me is a new part of our organ, which was finished last week. This is the antiphonal. Now, why is it called an antiphonal? Well, historically, in music, if you have sounds coming from different parts of the building, perhaps side to side or anywhere else with choirs and with instruments, the word is antiphonal from the Greek. So what we're seeing here is a part of the organ at the back of the church which complements the existing wonderful welty organ at the front. So I'm going to explain a little bit about what this organ is and uh, how it works and what's inside of it. So what you may have noticed first are these rather wonderful pipes in the middle. Now this is the harmonic tuba, which is a large trumpet stop. And it's quite loud out in the building, which you'll hear later. The pipes, the detail of them are spotted metal, which is an alloy of lead, zinc, and tin. It's not just for nice appearance, but also for the tone of the pipes. So this wonderful trumpet ranker can enable fanfares to be played on the organ. And if you're standing underneath it, uh, you may not quite want earplugs, but uh, just be a little bit careful about that. And if we come this way just a little bit, we see the wonderful wooden case of white oak. Now this is new here. This is new. This is part of the antiphonal. This is existing from the 1920s from the church. And I don't think you can tell the difference. Both white oak and the cabinet makers from Pennsylvania, New Holland, Pennsylvania, they even matched the grain of the wood. So it looks like it's been here forever, and a lot of people have said that, so they've done awesome work on that. Now the organ builders are Schoenstein and Sons from San Francisco, with Jack Berthard as their wonderful tonal director, the guy who gets to make the pipes sound nice. So, these pipes, as you can see that, at the front, just about, are what we call dummy pipes. They make no sound at all. They're for decoration, these aluminum pipes at the front. Everything the organ has is inside. And uh, what it's made up of is a diapason chorus, an echo diapason chorus, a 16 foot echo diapason on the pedal, and two wonderful chimney flutes. So in a way it's a romantic sound which is matched almost perfectly to our existing American Romantic style organ, which was built in 1928. The idea um, is that, as if it had always been here, both visually and actually orally. So we've got pipes in uh, each of the two cases, sounding like that, and each side has a small blow, and that's what drives the wind through the organ. And with the wonders of technology today, how do I play it when the organ console is way up in the church? Well, all you need now to connect uh, pipes to an organ console is an internet cable. So we've run one throughout the church, all the signals go to here. But the way the organ works, um, where the air goes through the pipe, is exactly the same as it was centuries ago. Perhaps in Bach's time and even uh, back to when the organ originated with the ancient Greeks. So everything here, this is a true pipe organ. Um, the only thing is a signal comes through from the keys to the pipes here. So that's a little bit about our wonderful new antiphonal organ. 
Um, you'll be hearing the sounds of it as I'm speaking. And uh, join me on Thursday at 12 noon for a concert on our Grace and St. Stephen's Facebook page. Um, an organ concert by me featuring music, heavily featuring the antiphonal organ. So uh, please join me for that and uh, very exciting time.